still yeah, I get cut off there. So we, we left off here at the the um the marriage re, uh, marriage reunion happy family card. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a quick romance angel and see what comes out for this couple. I really don't want to do much more than this, but let's see, because it, it ended already on such a beautiful note, but I'll get a song card as well. Can we have a romance angel for this reading, please? So yeah, this this um, emperor is coming for his Queen of Cups, and as I say, I send, I send lots of love and light to Queen of Pentacles he's had to leave here because it's never nice to have to leave somebody behind. But sadly, that's the way the divine connections go, isn't it? Love yourself first. Of course, they love me to get these cards out. Always love yourself first because when you turn the love back around in yourself, it attracts some other people who love you as well. Free yourself. So this is take back your power. So I think this is for this um this emperor here he could have been feeling a bit trapped in his connection with the queen of pentacles and i think this is like saying free yourself and go where you're supposed to go with your your queen of cups so let's see oh not one yeah past life relationship we had we had um the, the spiritual the very spiritual high ranking couple so this could be a very high ranking past life connection that's been on for literally thousands of years trust me it's a thing <laughs> this couple that's why he literally cannot stay with the queen of pentacles because this queen of cups is a very powerful past life soulmate and as i say if they've loved each other through Heart to heart conversations coming in with your person. Beautiful. So let's see. Is there any more romance angels? Healing family issues. This for me is generally if somebody has got a bit of, um, yeah, they could have a bit of baggage. So this. Possibly this um, King of Pentacles is having to to deal with maybe a bit of aggravation from this Queen of Pentacles family or maybe his own family for moving on to be with this Queen of Cups, which I believe could definitely be the case. Yeah, this Queen of Pentacles um, is codependent on this masculine. Um, I say I think they were just it was a marriage of convenience, stability. There was no no love, I don't think. I think it was quite a yeah, there's more playfulness in this connection with the Queen of Cups as well. So let's see. Oh my goodness. They said check the bottom card. Engagement! I knew it when we saw this here. So yeah, this this emperor's coming for his Queen of Cups to propose. And we'll send love to the Queen of Pentacles that this man had to leave. We don't know what she's done, but she could have been maybe not so innocent, but um, still, we can only hope that everything works out well for her too. And she finds her person. So uh, let's see. Oh, this song wants to fly out. Can't take my eyes off you. This emperor is besotted and totally in love with his Queen of Cups. His past life soulmate, who I think he's probably been <laughs> feeling quite trapped and desperate to get to. Her. So, I'm alive by Celine Dion. So this man is saying, this emperor saying, he only feels alive when he's with this Queen of Cups. She makes him feel alive inside. Oh my goodness, they're flying out of here. Stronger with Britney Spears. So this connection's stronger. Um, he knows now his destiny is with this Queen of Cups. And one more, one more. Make it good. Don't Stop Believing by Journey. So don't stop believing in true love is what the, the final message is. Because, yeah, it's hard to walk away from someone you've been in a relationship with. But ultimately, divine love is unstoppable. It's, 
it's ordained by God, it's written in the stars, it's destiny. So don't stop believing in love. Even for the people who feel they haven't actually found love yet. It'll happen. It'll happen. Your love will come around. Just keep loving yourself. And I can't stop saying that enough. So thank you so much for joining me for this reading. It was a bit quicker tonight, thank goodness. And um, we've had a lovely, a lovely story come out of it with a wee bit of heartbreak as well, I guess. But um, but thank you so much. I'm now open for personal readings, so I just thought I'd mention that as well. So and on the reading, you get a you'll get a video, a video link sent to you by email. I will give you a breakdown of the cards and stuff um, in writing with on the email as well. I'll give you a bit of information about who your angel is and any crystals and things that will help you at this time for healing any chakras or anything. So um, I, I can do that and my cost is £20, so I'm just telling that now. So if you want to c contact me for any readings and to for all the stuff I've mentioned, you can contact me on violetangelintuitionoutlook.com and I'll be happy to hear from you. Please do not give me any details about your story, your life, who you are or anything like that. Um, literally all I need you to do is say hi and put reading into the subject line. And then I'll know you're somebody who wants to make contact with me about a reading. But please don't tell me anything about your person or, you know, they they walked away or don't tell me anything because the, the less I know, the better. And then you'll see yourself um, if when I send a video link why I don't use your information. It has to be a clean slate. So anyway, so that's that. And thank you for, for checking in. Thank you for coming back if you're returning. And thank you for clicking on this if the title is of being of interest to you. So thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your night wherever you are in the world or day wherever you are in the world. And I'll talk to you again soon. Lots of love and light. Namaste.